In this video, I'm gonna talk about how I started my career in the insurance industry. Like most people that I know in this industry, I didn't grow up saying, I wanna be an insurance agent. Actually, I wanted to go do things like be a pilot. I knew I wanted to be wealthy, but I just wasn't sure how I was gonna get there. But now, me being in the industry for five years now, I'm so glad that I'm here because I think this is the best industry on the entire planet. If you don't know who I am, my name is Nick Saka. I started my insurance agency journey in 2017 where I started from scratch. I had no clientele and we grew from zero to a $5 million book of business organically. And then after that, we purchased a $5 million book taking us to over $10 million in total agency premium. And we've done that all in five years. If you wanna know how I did that and exactly what we did, uh, I dropped in the description a course on my blueprint to everything that we've done. So now let's get started with how I got started in this industry. So let's go back to my early days. I, as soon as I graduated high school, I, I mean, I've been working since the dawn of time. I was working in middle school in the cafeteria. I was working, I was taking side jobs, working on the neighbor's yards whenever I could. I was working for my cousin's pizza shop for free, putting door hangers on doors. And I, just took every opportunity I could to make money. And as soon as I was able to start working, I got a job at Subway and then from Subway, went got into delivering pizzas and then got a job selling sunglasses. And throughout all of this, I was doing network marketing businesses. I did Amway, I did prepaid legal, almost got recruited into ACN, <laughs> um, the whole nine. And through all, all of this, you know, I learned a lot of things that have helped me in this journey. So that's why I bring it up. And so after I graduated high school, I luckily got into a job a year later uh, working for a bank. And at this bank, I was still delivering pizzas on the side, on the weekends, hustling my face off, you know, still doing network marketing businesses, investing in Forex currencies, and just doing all this stuff, man. I was doing way too much. And my seven, I worked for the bank for seven years. I was a banker and then I slowly, slowly, and I mean slowly, grew into a leadership position where I was um, working my way up into co-managing a branch and then finally got promoted into a small business banker role where I supported a lot of different branches all across Las Vegas. So from there, I knew I didn't want to be in banking forever. I hate corporate. I hate corporate stuff. I hate corporate meetings. I just don't like the corporate way of doing business. And I was also going to school and getting my degree in business management, which also took me uh, seven and a half years to get that degree um, because I took my time with it and I don't like debt. I wanted to make sure I could pay off that debt every semester and chip away at it so I didn't have to take some big loan. And after seven years of banking, seven years, I finally took a leap of faith and I quit. I quit banking because I didn't see a future in it. I didn't like corporate. I was underpaid. My seventh year in banking, I only managed to make $46,000 for that year. And that was my best year. And so I was severely underpaid and, you know, didn't have enough to, to, to really make ends meet. I was eating beanie cheese and rice burritos. I was ordering water cups, hot and spicy. I, wanna, I was on that dollar menu diet, you know what I mean? And once I, I, once I met a business client that would talk me into entrepreneurship and talk me into, you know, he saw the, the potential I had, he convinced me that I could take the sleep and I'd be all right. So I quit. I quit my seven year career in banking and I go and work with this business client. Uh, his company was called NHA. And while working with him, I essentially went into a partnership with him, but it really truthfully felt like I was on a commission only type deal. These, this, this is where I would you know, wake up at 6 a.m. because a lot of the people that I was cold calling were in the East Coast. And uh, and I was working, you know, basically for free and selling hotel reservations and hotel room blocks and things like that. And then he pivoted into like selling mobile app technology and I would go on to do that. And this was super cold, like, like 
hit the pavement, walk into businesses, try to sell them a mobile app for their company. I was cold calling bakeries, cold calling car uh, uh, mechanics. I was just cold calling people. Like find a phone number, look up the about me bio, try to find the business owner, call them, act like I know them. I was going into bars. I mean, I was doing the most. If I found an industry that, that I felt that a mobile app would really benefit, I tried to tackle that industry. Needless to say, none of this was working out. I was wasting a lot of money. I was losing a lot of money. And I, when I quit banking, all I had was like $3,600 to my name. And working with this company, with this guy, after 90 days, nothing, nothing in my heart felt it was right. It wasn't the right move. So I'm at my last dollar and I decide to quit working with this guy. And I don't know what I'm going to do at this point. But it's my friend's, one of my best friend's sister's birthdays, and we're very close family friends. And he invites me to Top Golf for her birthday. And I tell him, I'm like thinking about how much it's gonna cost. I'm like, ooh, Top Golf, that's pretty expensive. That's like 50 or 60 bucks. I can't afford that. So I tell him, I'm like, hey, bro, um, I can't make it, man. Like, I don't have any money. And I just can't afford to go. And I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna weigh you guys down. And he's just like, just come. And this guy happened to open up his insurance agency. He was also in banking. He opened his insurance agency two years prior to me. And he tells me uh, to go to Top Golf anyways. And so I do. And he takes care of me, which I didn't like. And he tells me, hey, man, why don't you open up an insurance agency? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't have any experience. I don't. I've never ran a business before. I've never sold insurance before. I've never really directly managed people like I've co-managed people but I've never directly been responsible for people and so I told him I don't know if I have what it takes you know like I, I maybe I should work for you for a little bit learn and he's just like no 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 just open up your own agency and I by the grace of God I had this 401k that I was contributing to in my banking days for over seven years and it grew it grew to just shy of 25 grand well, just so have it, I only needed 25 grand to open up my insurance agency. And so I did what I always thought I wasn't supposed to do, which was cash out the 401k because I was going to pay a lot of taxes. So I cash it out and I interview and I start the, the, the insurance agency process. You know, it was like a questionnaire. They email, they, uh, I met with somebody. They gave me like an in-person interview. Uh, they sent me a questionnaire. I took the questionnaire, the, the, the personality test rather, and I think anybody passes those if I'm being honest. And then I get approved to start an insurance agency. So from there, I then I am forced to pass my property and casualty, my life and health within like a, like a, like a 45 day span. And so I hit the books and I go ham and I'm studying my face off. And I, it takes me two times to pass the property and casualty test. And then it takes me three times to pass the life and health test. I, once I do that, I fly out to Chicago for training and I, and it's Allstate University. Mind you, for those of you guys that don't know, I opened up an Allstate insurance office. And once I got that going, um, I needed to find employees and, and I was also starting out, I got lucky. I started out my journey in a shared office where I just paid rent and I shared the office with, uh, with a few other agents, which was also a huge blessing because I was able to, to really uh, reach out to them whenever I had questions about insurance or what I was doing. And I had no idea what I was doing for the first couple of years. Let me tell you, I was calling people, re reaching out to people as like as much as I could. Every single thing that popped up was a brand new question for me. And for those of you guys that might do the same, every day is gonna be a question mark. You're not sure what you're gonna have to do, and um, but you're gonna figure it out. You're gonna figure it out. And I tell you guys all this for this reason, that I, even though I didn't know what I was doing year one, I learned and my, my whys are pretty strong. I have very strong reasons why I get up and I keep going at it every single day. Um, one of them is to retire my mom. One of them is to make sure that I'm able to take care of my family. 
Uh, another one is, you know, when I have kids someday, I want to be able to take care of them. Another one is, you know, I just have these big goals and dreams and aspirations of just traveling the world and starting businesses and owning real estate and all this stuff. So that's what drives me. That's what pushes me every single day um, to go and just learn. Even when things get tough, I just remember my whys and I, it keeps me going. But I would also tell you that every walk of your life is going to teach you something that's going to help you in your journey. Every walk. And so the network marketing businesses that I failed at, I learned self-development. I learned who Jim Rohn was. I learned John Maxwell. Like I learned leadership through, you know, through John Maxwell. I listened to Tony Robbins. Like it forced me to illegally download a bunch of CDs of success and sales. <laughs> and I listened to them as to them as I was delivering pizzas. And whenever I was on my way to, to the to, to UNLV, the university, I would listen to these success CDs and sales CDs and leadership CDs. And all of this helped mold me. My seven years in banking, I learned sales, customer service, and operations, and semi-management, right? I fortunately had you know, uh, good leaders and bad leaders, and I learned what to do from the good leaders, and I learned what not to do with the bad leaders. I learned how to hold myself accountable, and I learned how to build relationships. I learned how to cross-sell. I learned you know, operations, and all this stuff helped me in my insurance agency ownership journey where I've taken all this stuff and it's a part of my current day processes. A lot of it was inspired by those seven years in banking where I, you know, where I learned. Any business really comes down to those three things, sales, operations, and customer service. You know, when you think about it, it's broken down to those three components which were huge in, in helping me start my agency. The working for uh, the guy with NHA, where I was selling hotel rooms and mobile apps, I learned branding. And he taught me a very powerful, powerful, uh, uh, something very powerful, which was time principles. And what he meant by that was anything you want to do is just a matter of how you use your time. And so he taught me the real, the real uh, practicality of using a planner to document every single thing that you plan to do on a certain day to the minute, to the time, like specifically by the time. And when I started my agency, I mastered using a planner and I wrote down everything. And that helped me with the organization of running a business because there's so much going on. And, you know, if you guys are like me, you know, squirrel, squirrel, ADD, if I don't write something down, it's not going to happen. And so I must write things down. I must, you know, get it in alignment with my time principles. And anything I write down in that planner is going to happen. So, like I said, um, every walk of life has helped me in my insurance agency ownership journey. And I know it will help you guys, no matter what stage you are in your life, whether you want to go work for an agency or maybe you want to start a business, it doesn't have to be insurance. Every walk of your life, there are some lessons there, and it's up to you to extract those lessons to really teach you how to use it at a later point. And so whether that's dealing with people or whether that's you know certain experiences, not to duplicate or repeat, or dealing with certain personalities, life has this way of teaching you, but you gotta make sure you're paying attention and that you're taking notes. So if you guys listen this far, I want to thank you guys. Uh, this is my story of how I got started in the insurance uh, industry, and uh, and we're still going at it today. Uh, we're just getting started. So I appreciate you guys for watching. If you got some value, do me a huge favor. Destroy that like button. Follow me on all my social media platforms, and check out my other videos as well. Till next time, peace.